Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now today I'm going to be talking about largemouth bass shallow all the time. Now this pond I fish here isn't relatively deep, only has about five, six feet of water at the deepest, but I tend to find that I catch most of my fish in, in six, eight inches of water. And when I walk around, I see a lot of fish sitting in one to six inches of water. They have deeper water, anyway, it's not deep, deep, but they have deeper water to go to, but they tend to be and feed in the six inches of water, eight inches of water. And this comes to me because I had a viewer that wrote me an email and said, uh, his buddies and, and other tournament fishermen I'd always talk about the deep bite on this lake he fishes and he fishes shallow and and is wondering if he's missing out on not going to uh, this deep water bite and I say no. Uh, my cropter samoides, the largemouth bass, uh, evolved as a species to fill a niche of one to three meters. One to ten feet deep. That's where they prefer to be and that's where they will grow the healthiest and become the biggest fish. Uh, if you look at Inland Fishes of North America, uh, this book that's pretty much the Bible. If you take any fisheries classes for having the most comprehensive study of most North American fish, uh, and you go to Mycroptor Salmoides, right there it says, depth to find it, uh, where it's evolved to fill its niche is one to three meters, one to 10 feet. I pretty much, over my 30 years, consistently fish in the one to 10 foot range and never have a problem finding bass and finding pretty good sized bass. I mean, if you take the United States and split it in half, you gotta remember that the most, the whole western half, largemouth bass is an introduced species. It, it didn't evolve there. And most of our lakes here are deep. And yes, the bass is adaptive, so it, it has learned to go deeper to feed. But it, it's more that there's just not enough one to 10 foot productive water in a lot of these lakes. So fish will be there and you can always find them there, but it, it won't hold the whole population, so some of them have, in fact, learned to go out deeper to feed. But I just say you never really have to go much deeper than 10 feet to find fish, uh, any time of the year and any time of the day. And if you're missing them there and, you, and you're not catching them and thinking they're going deep, it's just, like I said, because you're missing them, because they're there. So remember, largemouth bass, shallow all the time. And a good prime example of this is, like I said, it's an introduced species to North America. If you look at the two lakes in California that have the best population and produce the biggest stringers and the most healthy four, five, six pound fish, happens to be the Delta and Clear Lake. Two large bodies of water with an average depth of about, guess what, 10 feet. So remember this, shallow all the time. I hope this helps. Until next time.